Okay, so the first step in changing a quadratic and finding its inverse is to change the equation out to vertex form. So we're going to start that right here, and it's actually a fairly easy process. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the vertex of this rest red graph right here, which is at negative three, negative four. And you can actually see that I've went ahead and just typed the, uh, the equation right up here. And so I take that negative three, negative four, and I'm going to follow the translations that we've done before earlier in this class. So I'm going to say, okay, well, I take the vertex and I say X, we've moved it to the left three. So I'm going to say X plus three. And then I've moved it down four minus four. It is a quadratic, so I need to put my squared over that. Okay. And finally, I have to look at this A value that's right there, which is negative two. And I just put that right in the front because that's my vertical stretch. And I'm going to say, okay, well, maybe this is F of X. The next one is over here. Maybe we'll call this G of X. Okay, I'm going to find the vertex of that one and do the exact same thing. So it's a nice, the same exact process. I'm going to click on the vertex, which is one, two, which means I've shifted it to the right one and I've shifted it up two. So I'm going to put X minus one. This is a shift right. Okay, so I'm put X minus one squared and then I'm going to move it up two. And I'm going to put plus two. The only thing that I need to do now is go find the A value, the vertical stretch that's associated with this. You'll notice that that is a four. So I'm just going to plug the four right up in front. And then I would say, okay, well, G of X is equal to this. Now, the one thing I would go ahead and do just to verify these is I want to just plug them in to make sure they're right. So four parentheses X minus one squared two. I notice it overlaps the blue one and I'll just go ahead and plug in the other one. Negative two x plus three squared minus four and it overlaps. So we have converted from a standard form equation over to a vertex form equation.